45,000 inhabitants live in the industrial town of Oz. There are 13,200 gypsy families. After the political change in 1989, these families lost their jobs. Their situation became uncertain. Even if they get employed again, they have to deal with the worst and dirtiest tax. But still, they would be fortunate to have something to live from. The families have to live from very poor financial income. A family with three members needs 50,000 forints for a month to live on a normal standard. But gypsy families have 10,000 forints per month. They don't have enough for buying wood, so they go out to the forest to cut out trees. We are starving since we lost our permanent job. That is the right expression, starving. Many people can't even imagine what that means. We live from loans, that is not a life unbearable. We live from our pension, which is very little. We are not able to work and the pension is not enough. We are extremely poor. Sometimes I don't have anything to cook for a whole week. Unfortunately, gypsies usually don't have any profession, so it is difficult to find a job for them. They don't have special skills, so they rarely can be occupied permanently. Even gypsy organizations helping them with seasonal jobs they move from place to place and work in orchards picking fruit, pruning or planting, and they live from these uncertain incomes. I have 13 grandchildren, or maybe 18, who knows. One comes to ask for some bread, the other for chocolate, the third begs for water. I don't know how to give them. I have 8,000 forints for a month to cover the electricity and water bills and for food. It is impossible. I can earn money with selling these construction materials. It is a hard work to get her and pays very little. I get for a half a ton only 1,000 forints. I go to the shop once and it's gone. My wife is pregnant. To have a baby is expensive and I should need to take care of them. But how? I can't explain it. There is no word to describe poverty. There is no future, especially not for the youngsters. We never can see what is going to come. We don't have any hope. The wage is low and it is impossibly difficult to get a job. I don't have money to buy medicine. I have to come here to gather this stuff and then sell it. If I don't, we won't have anything to eat and we are going to starve and then die. The only solution for gypsies is to study and have an intellectual and well-educated generation in the future. They should go to school to be able to help themselves. Studied person is more flexible and broad-minded, able to work at many places and have a better chance on the manpower market. If they can't get out from this dead position, it will change to be a social ghetto. 
kiművelt ember fő, mobilabb lehet, szélesebb látókörül lehet, jobban el tud mozdulni ebből a környezetből, mert ha nem tudja ezt megtenni, hogyha tömegek maradnak itt lent, ezeken a, ezen a színvonalon, akkor előfordulhat, és beállhat egy szociális jellegű gettósodás. Mit kéne tenni a romák érdekében? What can we do to help the gypsies? What has to be changed in their lives to make them a useful part of society? It would be necessary for them to go into the university and have their people among the lawyers, doctors, and teachers. That would help society accept them. They have to prove that they are not just destroying things. Ott legyenek a romák a képzettségüknél fogva, mert akkor lehetne őket beleilleszteni megfelelően a társadalomba. How many of them believe in the Holy Spirit among us now? I tell you a secret. Jesus is not far, but only a few centimeters away. Let us stand and greet and bless each other in the name of Jesus. Therefore, go to the thoroughfares. When I received this message, I felt it was my calling to serve my own nation and take the gospel to them. I see the time has come for the gypsies to be reached by God. Many of them live in very poor surroundings, in terrible conditions. I ask you to help as well. Together, we can do something for them. És bővítsük Istennek igéjét. Amilyen környezetben élő falvak vannak, nagyon szegények. És ezekben akarnék őket segíteni, felemelni őket, tanítani őket, és kivezetni abból a nyomorból, amiben élnek. Ehhez kérlek benneteket, hogy segítsetek. <tos> The Gypsy Mission of the Hungarian Pentecostal Movement has a complex strategy for helping the Gypsies. It includes organizing children's education, giving social help, family care, and even settling them in the community. Whoever has met with Jesus Christ is ready to be changed is my experience. They are ready to work and live from their own salary. When they stop drinking their family life, has become renewed. We know many people and families who give this testimony in Hungary. We believe that God's power is the only help for the gypsies. The solution is in Jesus. This program and strategy is wide and requires a lot of money, spiritual background and many workers. Any kind of help is very welcome. Anybody who feels touched by this film and wants to do something about it can help. Please. If you are able to give any spiritual, physical, or financial help, do it. Thank you for all of it. Bármilyen más fizikai vagy szellemi lelki segítségükkel támogassák ezt a munkát.